Hello and welcome to Mirror Match. My name is Amanda Erickson and every week I argue with myself over video games. Yep. Today's Mirror Match is on the size of the Penny Arcade Expo. The Penny Arcade Expo was started in 2004 by authors of the Penny Arcade comic Jerry and Mike. The show was meant to be an accessible convention for gamers by gamers. The first PAX was held in Seattle, Washington, with around 3,300 attendees. Fast forward to 2010, where PAX spread to the East Coast with its second annual convention happening in Boston, Massachusetts. The 2010 PAX East convention saw 52,290 attendees. Every year, the conventions have been steadily growing and are now happening in Boston, Seattle, Dallas, and even Australia. The latest numbers on PAX is well over 70,000. But with PAX East happening this weekend, I think it's going to be an all-time high. So with all this growth, can PAX handle it? Are the big crowds hurting or helping the convention? I absolutely hate crowds, especially at conventions. Big crowds mean super long lines, means you don't get to try anything. With this rate of growth, PAX is going to wind up becoming the next New York Comic Con where you have to camp overnight to do any of the stuff you actually want to do. I have to disagree. Bigger crowds means more gamers, which means more potential nerdy friends. I've met some of my best friends at PAX, and it makes me happy that there was more opportunities for more geek friends. But not all those gamers are going to be keepers. With larger crowds, that means there's more chances for trolls, harassment, sexism, anger, just problems. You can't guarantee that they're all going to be nice and happy gamers like you. Yeah, there's always going to be bad eggs, but the overall experience is totally worth it. Plus, more people means more gaming companies will want to actually announce stuff at PAX. There's a bigger market that will be attending the convention, which means we'll get more announcements, more exclusive stuff, and more opportunities to play new games, which is awesome. That's the whole reason why you go to PAX. Back to my point about lines, and there being lots of them. But PAX will continue to grow. New PAX conventions will sprout up to spread out the crowds. Maybe PAX East will adopt the same methodology as PAX Prime and add an extra day. More conventions mean more opportunities to nerd out and have fun. That's if you can even get tickets. PAX is infamous for selling out in nanosecond. With every additional convention, the price is gonna go up, the hotels, the airfare, everything. It is an expensive hobby to have. So what do you think? Do you enjoy the big crowds or prefer a smaller con? Tell me your opinions below or write about it on Game Skinny. Thanks for watching and please like this video and subscribe to Game Skinny for more Mirror Match. See you next time. Bye!